welcome to Blackdown. Who's excited to be here? Woo! I'm really excited for you guys. I get to go up to the high ropes with you guys as well as you go, I get to go field training with you guys. We're going to go out on a little camping trip and it's going to be super fun for the next two weeks. So doesn't that sound like fun? Yeah! Welcome back everyone, it's me Matt, I hope you're having a wonderful day, thank you for joining me on today's video. Youth, it's literally one of the most important things we need to encourage, inspire, mentor and get into the world of positive community, it really is. I think the youth of today has so many challenges against them, uh, whether it be social media, um, you know, the economy, uh, whatever else is going on, we need to do everything in our power, wherever you live around the world, to encourage youth to be the best that they can be. I'm a father myself, I have two little girls, and I want to make sure that I give them the best that I can. And I think it's up to us as adults, if you're watching this video, um, to try our best to make sure that we're doing everything we can to support youth, and it's really, really important. So today's video, we are going to be talking about cadets, army cadets specifically, but of course there are other branches of cadets. Uh, I was a cadet myself in the British uh, Cadet Force or the Army Cadet Force uh, in the UK for a few years, actually several years I think it was, uh, as a young man I absolutely loved it. I literally took so much away from it. It was a massive life lesson for me and of course then set me up for a very successful career in the British Army. Uh, that being said, of course you all now know that I am a Canadian Armed Forces member here in Canada, moved from the UK and now a gunner in the artillery and I have helped out with cadet programs here locally as well. Unfortunately due to my time commitments and my life lifestyle right now it's a lot harder for me to help support training of the cadets in the program locally but I have participated many times even prior to being in the Canadian Armed Forces with training and supporting and mentoring young cadets in our program here in Canada. Of course there's not just one program uh, here in Canada they are all around the world uh, specific you know cadet programs relate to wherever you are in the world but today's video really is trying to discuss how important I think it is to share this kind of thing being available and an opportunity for young people that want to join. Uh, if you're an adult watching this and you have kids, I would strongly encourage you to take some notes away from this, you know, look into options where you could potentially have the discussion with your kids, see if it's a, something that they actually have the interest in doing. I would never encourage you to force upon your children to get into a cadet program. I don't think that's the best way to go about doing it. I have heard of people and seen instances of these kind of things similarly happening, happening sorry, it doesn't work out so well. So just have the conversation, discuss it with your kids, see if it's something they're interested in. Hopefully some of the information that I can give to you today will give you a little bit more of an understanding. There are hundreds of videos out there already on YouTube discussing about what the cadet program is, how it works. Um, but for me, because I really, really avidly support this program, I thought it'd be really important for me to discuss it. Two things before we go any further. Firstly, I am not a cadet instructor officially of the cadet program at all. Uh, I'm not part of a cadet organization. I have supported it several times in the past. Um, and, you know, I am not advocating for uh, attachment to a military career after the cadet program. So I just want to make that very clear. Secondly, I am not speaking on the behalf of the Canadian Armed Forces as a CAF member right now in the Artillery Reservist. I do not want to be saying that I'm speaking on behalf of any organization. This is purely just me giving you some informative background as to what the cadet program is because as I said before, I think it's really important that I kind of broadcast and showcase this kind of program for youth and for adults alike so that you can have some information and take an informed decision of whether or not it's something you want to be a part of. So first of all, let's just talk a little bit about what the cadets is. So the cadet program is one of the largest federally sponsored youth programs in Canada that includes the Royal Canadian Sea Cadets, the Royal Canadian Army Cadets and the Royal Canadian Air Cadets. It is a national program for young Canadians aged 12 to 18 who are interested in participating in a variety of fun, challenging and rewarding activities while learning about the sea, army and air activities of the Canadian Armed Forces. Cadets are encouraged to become active, responsible members of their communities. They make valuable contributions to Canadian society on a daily basis in terms of environmental, citizenship and community activities. Cadets also learn valuable life and work skills such as teamwork, leadership and citizenship. And this is probably one of the biggest points I want to reinforce about this program. 
If you wish to join or one of your kids are willing to join, I can almost assure you that even if they attend for maybe a month or two, they'll learn something that they will take away with them for the rest of their lives. Whether that be simple discipline like foot drill and how to stand still and to attention and concentrate, or being a part of a group of people who you've never met before and are not part of your school or close group of friends and you're being thrown into the frying pan, so to speak, of the social world. Which is very difficult nowadays, especially with the youth of today, considering everything is either on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, whatever else, you know. That is a challenge, I think, that we have with the youth of today. And when you talk to anyone who has been in a cadet program, they're always going to tell you a memory of something that they had when they were in. Oh yeah, I remember getting up at 5 in the morning, having to do PT every morning. Yeah, it kind of gave me a wake-up call for my teenage years to actually start doing some PT, and I learned how to do sit-ups correctly, or push-ups correctly, or whatever else it may be. Those kind of things follow you throughout life, and that's why I think this program is so important to promote and encourage, because this isn't just something that keeps your kids busy over the summer, okay? It does give you that. But it's more, much deeper than that. It really instills and encourages some core attributes that are going to benefit the youth into their adult period of their lives, whether it be their careers or their social standing. It's really, really important. I don't think I've met a single person who's been in the cadet program who can't tell me as a positive experience they've taken away from it. Even the simplest of little things, like learning how to polish boots or ironing uniform. These things that follow you into your military career that if you wish to go into, or your civilian career. You know, knowing how to iron a shirt can actually be, for someone who's never done it before, quite challenging. But things like cadets that you learn at a very young age makes it a lot easier, and in a fun, relaxed, and team-based environment. Um, cadets, however, are not members of the Canadian Armed Forces. I want to make that very clear. Okay, Canada does not produce what I guess is out there in the media as child soldiers. Okay, um, different militaries have different ways of teaching their cadets, and they have, you know, their cadet programs doing different kinds of activities. Here in Canada, we're a little less focused on exposure to military-style training, and more to the sides of adventurous training, outdoor activities. Uh, orienteering, first aid, things like that. We're not really uh, too focused on, you know, exposure to the Canadian Armed Forces. We still do it, just on a very controlled manner. And um, whether you agree or disagree with that is, you know, not for me to have in this conversation. But it's just something to be aware of, that if you do have a kid, that, or, or you are a kid that wants to join uh, the cadet program, it's not going to be about, you know, simulating or replicating what the Canadian Armed Forces does. It's not how this works. Uh, they're also not expected to join the military, okay? So even though they're exposed to it, they're not, you know, once they finish the program, told, yeah, by the way, you have to join the military now. It's not how it works. While they're introduced to the sea, army, and air activities of the Canadian Forces and certain traditions, they are also introduced to many other respectable career choices that are available to them outside of the Canadian Armed Forces. Through the cadet program, the Government of Canada is really investing in a lot of money and time in today's youth and Canada's future overall. As I said before in the beginning of this video, our youth is literally the most critical and important thing for every nation's future. If you don't believe that, well, I don't know how I can convince you. Okay, As I said, I am a father and uh, I really do believe in that philosophy that we need to encourage and mentor our kids to make sure that they produce a better life for themselves and for the rest of the world. So, cadets get to choose what they want to join, depending on where they are or where they're located in the country. They can choose to sort of, you know, be a part of the sea, army, or air cadet program. Uh, sea cadets learn seamanship skills and how to sail. Army cadets focus on adventurous training activities, such as outdoor activities uh, and international expeditions. And air cadets learn the principles of aviation while learning to become glider pilots uh, and pilots of engine-propelled aircraft. So literally, as an air cadet, you could potentially be flying aircraft, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, why do youth aged 12 to 18 years old join cadets? Well, primarily to have fun, okay? Of course, there is a lot of education and a lot of, you know, background experiences they get to give, but the key to this is instructors alike uh, in all cadet forces are going to go in with the principle of these kids are here to have fun. They're not here to be beasted, shouted at, being made a fool of, which a lot of people think, you know, it's like boot camp for, cadet for kids. It's not what it's about. Instructors are trained to encourage these kids to enjoy what they're being taught as much as possible in a positive environment. Um, of course, bullying is zero tolerance. Um, you know, I've had um, exposure to bullying in the cadet forces when I was in the cadet force, and the instructors did a great job of trying to nip it in the bud. Um, I've seen it happen many times, so please don't, don't be discouraged about things like that. There's very, very good background um, instructors there. They've got a lot of experience under the belt to, to help make an environment for the youth 
uh, to enjoy what they're doing. It's not all about work and learning, it's about having fun, and that's really important. Um, you get to make a lot of new friends, folks, okay? There's a lot of cadets that you're never going to ever see in your normal day-to-day -day lives, even if you're in the same city, because you'll get exposed to different camps uh, and field training exercises where you may be integrated with other cadet forces. And that gives you the opportunity to make new friends and unique friends that aren't just, you know, from around your area. They're made from the East Coast, West Coast, Northern Territories. It's really, really cool. Um, they participate in some really diverse training, and it's completely free, guys. It's It's free. You're not paying anything, okay? Your, your cadets and you, if you wish to be a cadet, are going to do this all for free. You're going to get a uniform given to you. You're going to be able to do exercises that are free. You're going to get fed on those exercises. Everything's free, so you're not having to take money with you, okay? Obviously, then simple spending money if you go on expeditions and things like that. Um, you get to improve your self-confidence, right? And your sense of responsibility, because no matter how old you are, you have a sense of responsibility. Maybe you haven't realized that yet, um, but you do. Okay, everybody has a responsibility and the confidence you have to deal with those responsibilities will be improved drastically when you're part of this program. Um, for those of you who do have an interest in pursuing a career in the Canadian Armed Forces, it will give you a really good welcoming arms of experience and background to make an informed decision so that you can feel included and have a sense of belonging as part of the Canadian Armed Forces family, even though you're not directly part of it. You are indirectly part of that group uh, and, you know, the cadet program does very well to inspire you that if you want to go through that route, you can. I would definitely say that the cadet program is not there to groom children into becoming part of the Canadian Armed Forces. It's not what it's about, okay? I'll make that very, very clear. But it does give really good, controlled, safe conditions for kids to learn about it more and in a very well controlled environment uh, five things that you should remember though about the cadet program it invites everyone between the ages of 12 to 18 years old it installs canadian military values it develops youth attributes of citizenship leadership and fitness which is really important especially nowadays with video games and such uh, it balances safety and challenge right so there's never going to be something that a cadet's going to be asked to do if an instructor cannot do it themselves and they're done within very strict and safe conditions okay really really stringent conditions we are talking about children here and we're not going to expose them to you know minus 40 degree weather on a field training exercise it doesn't make any sense there's no training value in that so they do things very controlled and you know i have helped instruct cadets many times um, in my local unit and we do things pretty by the book as we should uh, and every cadet program does the same thing there's a strict set of rules and policy in which things are done so if you're concerned about you know all these different activities we're talking about you know adventurous training hiking mountain biking canoeing these are all pretty dangerous adventurous sports but it's done in a very controlled measure very very controlled um and of course as i said before to me the most important thing about the program is it leaves a positive lifelong impact set through a set of positive youth outcomes it is giving you huge life lessons and i mean that in every sense of the word um, you know, cadets are proud as Canadians. That's that's a big part of the program. Being proud of who you are, proud as a citizen. Um, a lot of the cadets come out with a good, healthy mind and body to move on to their adult lives. Um, they're contributing towards Canada's future, whether it be, you know, learning about leaderships and becoming leaders in the armed forces or in the civilian careers. Um, it appreciates their healthy discipline in terms of the way they do fitness and look after their bodies and eat well. Um, they learn a lot about, you know, nutritional values of, you know, going out in the woods and hunting and things like that and how to look after your food and cooking, things like that. And it really does represent Canada in a positive light. Seeing cadets get involved in programs like this just really reminds me as to why I'm so proud to be Canadian. And it's not, as I said, just Canadians that have these programs. There's cadet programs all the way around the world. I was a British cadet. I had so much fun being a British cadet. Um, but honestly, it's a lot of fun. It really is. Um, there is a lot of advanced training that you can do too. Sometimes in terms of advanced training, um, it could be something that you may have to contribute a charity run for or a bottle drive for to fund. But for the most part, everything is very, very open for um, financial involvement. So you don't really have to worry about things like that. Um, the program is very diverse, right? It doesn't matter what your age is, your race, religion, culture, social, economic factors. You're all welcome, okay? Of any kind of youth, please, please take a look at embracing this kind of opportunity because I think you're going to really enjoy it. Even just try it for a month. Just try it for one month. See what you think. At least you can say you've tried. Um, and, you know, if you push through, all of a sudden you're like, I don't like this. And then one day something will just click and you'll be like, oh, wow, 
this is awesome. I have a good group of friends that are outside of school um, or inside school still, and I'm learning something totally new. And the great thing about the cadet program is it can actually be, it could, sorry, be a really good opportunity for you to become an instructor. I know a lot of cadets that went through their cadet career at 18, they were like, wow, now I want to teach cadets what I just learned for the last several years. And you can do that. You can actually go and become an instructor, teach cadets what you've been taught. And again, you're just reinforcing that positive spirit of Canada or whatever nation you're from in, in improving the youth of today. And I don't think there's anything else more important to me in the world right now than doing that. I think it's really, really, really important. In terms of the army cadets especially, um, it kind of appeals to sort of the outdoor junkies. Um, those who love adventurous training and kind of pushing their personal limits. Um, but not only as individuals, but as team members, right? You'll be put in leadership roles. You'll be put in environments where you have to work as a team. Uh, it's a pretty hardcore outdoor orientated situation sometimes where you're placed in. You know, zip lining like that for a kid who's n terrified of heights. That can be a huge daunting activity. But again, very controlled, very safe. Um, Army cadets can get involved in cer ceremonial military events, citizenship activities uh, that allow them to connect to their Canadian heritage. Uh, they develop a great sense of pride and discipline through their involvement in the hierarchical system uh, that allows them to hone their leadership skills as they grow and they learn to care for younger cadets, right? So that, that bonding of, yeah, I'm a little old and now I've done a few years cadets, it encourages them to, to look after one another. And again, that reciprocates back to your normal life, looking after your brothers and sisters and your family. Um, there's a lot of opportunity for national expeditions. Every year, some of the top cadets get a chance to participate in high-level expeditions around the globe. Uh, some of the recent participants and destinations in the past few years were Morocco, Australia, Costa Rica, South Korea, Italy, France, Spain, New Zealand, the Rockies, Northwest Territories, Newfoundland, Labrador. Wherever the destination, cadets will find the ultimate challenge waiting for them in whatever role or responsibility they want to be a part of. Um, for me, I think this is probably one of the greatest programs you could ever be a part of as a young young kid. As I said, it's not something that everyone is going to be into. That's that's not what this is all about, you know. We're not saying, or I'm not saying, you know, the cadets is going to be the magic bullet to make everything go better. But I think it's something that if you're a young, you know, viewer or follower of my channel and you've never tried this before, you are from Canada, give it a go. Give it a try. You never know what you might find. You know, there are so many different things you can do. I'm not speaking as a cliche here as well, folks. I know a lot of the cadets that are watching this are very mature for their age. Uh, they're probably like, well, it's just like Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts. I don't want to be going door to door selling cookies. It's a higher level than that. Okay, I'm not saying, you know, Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts is in a low level. What I'm saying is it's, it's taking it to the next step. Okay, cadets really are doing some activities that are well beyond the normal means of what youth would normally be exposed to, right? extreme discipline, learning after you and looking after yourself, but not only looking after yourself, but looking after others and being exposed to a military environment that you would never normally get with, you know, uh, scout programs or, or Cub Scouts and things like that. It's just, that's not how it works, right? And the Canadian Armed Forces really does a very good job of exposing, you know, comfortable levels of military lifestyle to cadets and gives them something totally new to look at. So folks, if you do have an interest in joining the cadet program, um, I will leave links in the description box below so you can take a look. Uh, wherever you are in the world, if you're not from Canada, please again look at your program. I, I speak firsthand as not only a cadet who was from the UK and was a cadet there and moved to Canada, has instructed cadets here. Both cr programs are flawless. Very, 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 very good programs. Um, if you're concerned about bullying and all that sort of stuff, it's very, very controlled, right? There's not going to be bullying in any way condoned shape or form so don't be discouraged and um, don't be nervous of course you're going to be a little nervous when you first join but the instructors and the people around you will support and embrace you to make sure that you can be comfortable in being part of a new really cool organization um, as i said before this video isn't endorsed by anyone i just think as you know an adult and as someone who wants to make sure my country's youth succeeds that this is something we should be sharing around. So if you enjoyed today's video, leave me a like. Um, you can also leave me a comment. If you're a cadet, please tell me which unit you're from, where you're from, and uh, how long you've been in in the comment section below. I'd love to hear about all my viewers and followers who is actually in. So if you're still here to this end of the video, let me know which unit you're a part of, which uh, branch you're a part of, where you're from as a cadet, how long you've been in, what rank you've been, whatever information you want to share about being a cadet, let me know. I'd love to hear back and I'll try my best to respond to all your comments. 
Uh, thank you again for watching, everyone. If you did enjoy today's video, please uh, make sure you also check out my description box. There's also other social media links there, including my Patreon page, if you want to support my channel. And thank you to everyone who has been. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And for those who are in the cadet program, thank you for what you do. Stick strong. Uh, make sure you run through the best course of your cadet career you can. And I'll see you on the next one. All the best. Bye-bye.